In this video, we're gonna talk about exchange flow balance. Out of all the videos I've done in terms of indicators, this is gonna be the most important one. And the reason for that is I believe it's the most useful indicator when it comes to predicting price spikes before they actually happen. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that in this video. But you know, first thing I wanted to just go into and to talk about very quickly is if we think about how the market's behaving, uh, think about it for a second, you know, in December, 2017, crypto prices were ramping up and the emotional drive that was going into that for people was huge. When prices started coming down and we hit that lull period, what happened is everybody here started becoming interested in arbitrage, etc. even though we were talking about it over here. And then what's happened now is the market are not winning. Most retail traders, I don't believe, are, are really winning. And arbitrage is feeling difficult and everything's feeling difficult. And what we're looking for is some more fuel. Now, the reason why I'm talking about all of that is because people are in a specific mindset right now where they're missing value because they're looking for it in the wrong places. When everyone's looking for the value in arbitrage, ultimately that means there's gonna be fewer arbitrage opportunities. So if everyone is now playing in this area, what about the coins that are showing promise still in this area? And they do exist and they are still happening and they are still occurring. And I wanna show you how to spot them in this video because I've become obsessed about this, especially since the recent video we did looking at machine learning. And I've been looking at a lot of things like LSTM and, and going into detail on order book and order book imbalance and just behind the scenes doing a lot of work and thinking, you know, there must be an easier way for the, the average person who doesn't have a lot of time to, to spot coins that are ultimately going to blow up in value. And I found a metric that I think is really, really promising. So this might not be that new to some of you because we did a video recently called Predicting Price Ahead of Time with Leading Metrics, where we did the whole overview on sentiment. But one of the things that we showed in that video was exchange flow balance. And I mentioned in that video, I was gonna cover all these different metrics to explain what they are. And I thought, well, let's start with what I feel is actually the most important one, which is exchange flow balance and to talk about what that actually is first, why it's a leading indicator, not a lagging one, i.e. it doesn't rely on price or volume as an indicator, and why you should pay serious attention to it if you are any kind of investor in crypto whatsoever. So if you have a watch list or you have coins that you are managing or investments that you are managing. So what is exchange flow balance? Well, this is the number of tokens that are being moved into an exchange and out of an exchange in terms of exchange wallets on balance. So we're looking at the net difference between the number of tokens being moved into an exchange and out of an exchange wallet. Now, why can this be really useful? Well, number one, tokens can be moved into exchange wallets without any price or volume action actually occurring. So this is a leading indicator. This is like looking at market sentiment in a sense. It's looking at data that isn't yet in the order book. The other reason why you should pay attention to it is because very often when we see a large gain or a large decline in exchange flow balance, we see a change happen in price and often quite dramatically. Now you'll notice from this video that I posted just a few days ago, we were looking at seal coin and look at this pop up in exchange flow balance. It's this orange bar over here. And I'm gonna show you seal coin in a minute, but you can see it there price, which is the blue line popped up as well. So you can see that, you know, price popped up uh, in line with the pops up in exchange flow balance. You can see this trend, this rise up here in price with three big pops in exchange flow balance. Now let's go and look at some coins. So the first coin we're going to look at is seal coin. Now you were looking at the price in that video up until this part over here. This is what it looked like back then. Now, if we zoom out till today, we can see that price not only jumped up again, but it jumped up substantially from 0 0.048 to 0 point, just under 0 0.07 in terms of dollars to the coin. So a, another huge percentage rise in that coin after we saw that spike, and that spike was even apparent here in this video as I just showed you now. Again, we can just zoom into that so we can see it as if we were back in that day, and you can see that pop up in exchange flow balance. Really interesting. Let's move on to another one. So here I've got ADX net 
And the reason I wanted to mention this one is, have a look at this pop up in exchange flow balance just before this pop up in price and volume. Now we had another pop just before that and I am noticing that very often the first pop is not always the trigger, but I don't think there's any hard rule. Remember, this is not a hard rule that, hey, there's a pop, so price will go up. I'm particularly interested in this one right now. So this is Inc. Protocol. And we're seeing a lot of activity with exchange flow balance with the amount of tokens going in and out, in and out, and boom, in. This huge jump up right now. I mean, this is happening now. And look at what's going on with price. And more importantly, volume. So what I'm interested in is, am I starting to see volume coming in for a coin that's just shown that pop in exchange flow balance? So for example, in fact, let me zoom into this because you probably can't see it. But if we zoom into this, look at the volume increase that we've started seeing here. And this is something that always fascinates me because you see this very often with coins. So for any of you guys who have, or girls who have analyzed, by the way, 98% of the people who follow this channel are male. So uh, when I say guys, I usually refer to guys and girls, but just an interesting statistic for you. So normally what I see is this shape here, just before a big boom in price. You know, you start to see price going up and then bang, you see this. So this almost like this cup and handle shape. And you know, I remember when I was 17, which was about 17 years ago now, I went to this two day how to predict stock prices with stock chart patterns and you know, the usual drill. I went to the seminar, this two day seminar. And I remember the guy there, his name was Darren Winters. And he was talking about the cup and handle. And he was saying how it's actually the strongest chart pattern where you see the change in psychology. So things go quiet, but then you can see things starting to quietly pick up. It's almost like people are trying to get or creep into the stock or in this case, this coin quietly. So whenever I see something like this, this really interests me. I mean, why not buy into this coin here, by the way, please don't sue me because this is not investment advice, even though it's kind of like investment advice. You know, why not go get into a coin and set a pretty tight stop loss? Because it's very obvious where you're going to put your stop. It's like here, but your potential gain who knows what that is, especially in crypto, it could be huge. Anyway, really interesting. So exchange flow balance again, look at the pop here, bang, a pop in price. So this is, so this coin is centrality, bang, pop in exchange flow balance, straight away, pop in price, bang, again, exchange flow balance, bang, pop in price. Really interesting, we had a pop in exchange flow balance here, uh, but we didn't have much happen with price, although this time, it was accompanied with volume. So I think looking at this alongside with volume is important. There needs to be some kind of volume uptick, even if it's small, because you don't want to wait for a big volume uptick. You probably missed the price action then. Here we go again. So we're looking at decentralized machine learning now. An interesting one to me. I mean, this is, you know, what, what I would call is a really small coin, low cap coin, but a, a gigantic pop in exchange flow balance. So what's happening with this coin? Like, why did that happen? Someone's doing something. Uh, let's look at Origin Sports. So another one, pop in exchange flow balance. Now I'm interested in this because I can see this pump over here. And interestingly, when you look at this price and volume chart, you can see how price went up here, but volume, if you look at these spikes, the spike here and the spike here, volume went down. So we had this divergence here with price being exhausted. I talk about that all the time on this channel, by the way, because it's just such a strong indicator. But we could see that happen here. So we know this is a really a pump. This is a pump. Now what's happening here? Why, why are tokens being moved to exchange wallets here? Is there another pump coming? Is this something that you want to be in ahead of time? Again, really interesting. So one of the things I've done here is just created an algorithm to run every day to look at only certain coins that match certain criteria, of which there's about 500 of them. And to calculate what I call the change factor in exchange flow balance, meaning that you don't have to go hunting for coins to see what might be happening. I got all of these suggestions up here today just by running this report and then opening up the charts and going into them. And I didn't open all of them. But this change factor here shows how big is the spike 
up or down in exchange flow balance. And then when you take a look at that, you can analyze the volume, etc., just like we've done here of that chart. But out of all the metrics that I've looked at, I found this super interesting. One of the things I got to let you know is I went into the Discord group for sentiment and I asked the trading section. I said, hey, I'm noticing that exchange flow balance is an extremely good leading indicator, like really good. This is really exciting. Are there any others that folk are aware of? And so the next metric that we want to talk about is going to be daily active addresses because they mentioned that's pretty cool, too. So in the next video, I'll probably cover that one. But if you've got any questions, let me know. I just found this really interesting and really exciting because no one's talking about it. And as usual, take care. Talk soon.